Hi guys and welcome to 123 My T's video on the unboxing, review and first look at the HP ProBook 650G1. Okay guys, so we're just taking a quick look at the outside of the box and as you can see the box comes in plain packaging, uh, just the HP logo. The laptop is aimed at small business and retails for around about a thousand dollars. Okay, so to unbox it, it just comes with a bit of tape across the top. Okay, so to unbox this model you just need to take the ta tape off the top and down the sides, cut the tape and then Just slides out like that. Okay, Put that down, and let's have a look at the instructions. So you get just your general warranty information. Uh, dockable systems. So this is because uh, it's aimed at the small businesses. You can actually put this um, the bottom, plug the bottom of the laptop into a docking station, and we also get some DVDs there. So one for system restore for Windows 8 and a system restore for Windows 7. In the other side we've just got the battery. We'll pop that on in a sec. And power cable. And just the power brick. Okay. And there's the battery for the power for the laptop. Okay. Just a bit of sticky tape underneath. It just comes off. Slide the laptop out. Put in the battery. Battery just slides in just like that. And that top opens up. Take off the bit of cloth to stop the uh, keyboard pressing on the LCD screen in transit. Okay guys, so let's take a look at the laptop. So the top of the laptop's actually made from a black rubbery type, grippy type plastic. And the bottom of the laptop is made just from the hard plastic. Top of the keyboard area, as you can see there, is uh, a, a hard plastic. Um, it flexes a little bit when you touch it and the bottom is the black plastic black plastic base we have a look at the front of the laptop you've actually got a little okay guys so the top of the laptop is made from a rubbery type black plastic and we have a silver frame around the base and around the keyboard and below that we have a black a black uh, base of the laptop um, at the front here you can see there's a small slot there where you can fit your finger in to actually open the lid of the laptop and you've got the hard disk lights on this side okay and on the left hand side of the laptop here we've got our power port then we've got our ethernet gigabit ethernet port three usb ports across here and underneath here we've got our sd card reader over here we've got our dvd uh, rom which just pops out and then we've got our smart cart reader up there if we move the laptop around to the back you'll see here we've got a serial port 
Now, because this is aimed at small businesses, some small businesses still need a serial port for uh, cash payments. And the rest is just the HP Hewitt Packard branding there. Uh, the long bezel that goes right across the laptop to hold the lid to the chassis. And if we keep going around, we've got the Kensington lock, a uh, vent for the um, fan to blow out hot air off the CPU. And then we've got a VGA port for the older uh, monitors to plug in the older monitors. A display port, now that's different from the HDMI. It's a digital port, but um, it's not the same as the HDMI. And then you've got two more USB 3 ports. And then you've got a combined uh, microphone and headphone jack there and then we're back to the front if we turn the laptop over and have a look at the bottom so we showed you before where we've put in the battery and also this is a uh, plug to plug in a docking station so the docking station allows you to um, keep a monitor and a keyboard a full-size keyboard and mouse uh, at your desk and you can just plug in your laptop um, into the docking station use the full-size keyboard with all the ports and then when you're finished you just unplug it from the docking station and you can carry your laptop with you okay guys so we'll have a look at the inside of the laptop and across the top here you've got the speakers and they're hd audio with dts studio sound integrated speakers uh, and they are also integrated um, with the microphone which is at the top and we'll have a look at that in a second the keyboard is a spill resistant keyboard so you can spill, uh, spill coffee or anything on there and you should be able to just wipe it up and mop it off without uh, damaging the, um, the laptop or damaging any of the hardware of the laptop underneath. Pointing device, so you've actually got two pointing devices here. You've got your little uh, movable button which you can move around with, uh, with your index finger and then the two buttons control the the left or right clicks for this button and then you've also got just your left and uh, right mouse button down the bottom here which works with your touchpad you've got a light on here that when you turn off your touchpad this will come up as a yellow light and that will turn it off and turn it on just in case you're bumping it when you're trying to type and then over here to the right of your laptop you've got your fingerprint scanner for security and you've also got You've also got the number pad on the right hand side here, a full, so it's a full size keyboard with the number pad included. Up the top here you've got your two buttons, one is to mute your sound, so you can just toggle that on and off and you've got another button up here which will toggle, toggle on and off your wireless connection. This model of laptop supports the A, B, G and N networks. On the left hand side of the laptop you've got your power button there so we'll just turn that one on if we have a look at the display it's a matty 15.6 inch display and it's uh, designed that way so there's less reflection on the laptop screen there and it looks like we've started up and we've got Windows 7 so we'll just continue along with that hit next one two three my IT and next no password at this stage accept the terms and agreements and we'll just select our home network webcam up the top which is a 720p webcam which is pretty standard these days and then you've got a micro microphone uh, dot either side of the camera for voice communications okay so our windows are starting up there and it's preparing first use. Okay guys, so let's just have a look at the specifications here. So it's a HP ProBook 650 G1 and it's an Intel Core i5 4200M CPU and it's clocked at 2.5 GHz. The installed memory on this model is 4 GB and I believe you can actually upgrade these to 16 GB. Um, system type is uh, 64-bit uh, operating system so that's referring to the Windows operating system and if we go along here and have a look at our computer management you can see that it's an Intel HD graphics card 
um, in the in the in this particular model. Now you can actually get this model with the ATI card. The main hard disk in this particular model is a 320 7200 RPM hard disk, and that's a much quicker than the 5400 one terabyte model that you can also get. If we go back to the processor as well, I forgot to mention that you can also get this particular model in the uh, i3, i5 and i7 CPUs, um, but obviously you'll pay more or less depending on which CPU that you want to go for. Okay guys, so we'll just go over the, the weight of the model. So the weight of the model starts at 2.32 kilograms and if you're looking at the size of the laptop it's 37.8 centimeters wide 25.7 centimeters deep and the height at the front of the laptop you're looking at about 2.53 centimeters Okay guys, so that's pretty much it. If this was helpful, please leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and share the video. And if you have any feedback, please leave it on the website. Cheers guys. Bye-bye.